I designed this part and I'm ready to print it. But as you can see, there's quite a few overhangs here that if they're not correctly supported, they're not going to print out nicely. The other thing with this is that with some of these overhangs, the supports might be difficult to break off. So I wanna show you guys the settings that I use that have a nice crisp break off, but also give the support it needs. So then that way um, your parts come out nice and clean. <clears throat> so I've opened up Orca Slicer, got my model loaded. Uh, right now I'm in the quality tab, but I'm gonna switch over to supports. Um, uh, first of all, I typically use tree supports for supports or for things that need to be supported like this. Uh, for example, like these aluminum extrusion T pieces, they would be difficult with like a typical uh, grid system since the grid builds up like vertically typically. It doesn't like shoot over to the left or to the right. Uh, the only way it does that is if you use um, or if you don't have the on build plate selected. So it kind of depends what you're looking to overhang, but for this one, I would use the tree support. If it didn't have that, I would probably just use grid. You know, I'd need it there and then under some of these pieces here. Uh, but I think tree support will look the best because also I'm not gonna have any type of supports that are on the piece itself, like at this bottom plate. So um, I go with tree auto. I like to use this default grid organic, unless there's a reason why I need to use slim strong or hybrid i've used slim in cases where the model is really big i need to you know support something but i'm trying to print it as big as the build plate essentially and sometimes the tree slim uh the supports are small enough so that way it still supports and i can still print it uh i typically use the on build plate only because i don't want to be breaking off prints that are on the main print itself so um, I'll let the supports work a little extra harder than, you know, having my part look a little or have an artifact on it, will you? Uh, the magic happens down here at the top Z distance and bottom Z distance. I set these to 0.28 for both of them. Uh, so this way, what I found is typically these are set to like 0.2. Um, your layer height is set to 0.2. So you want it a little bit further away than your typical layer height. If you have it, you know, point two or even closer, uh, like if you do the slim, it typically sets it to 0.15 and they are super hard to get off. So I found that 0.28 is like the magic number. I'm just gonna go ahead here and slice the plate. So right, as you can see, there's a lot of supports here that it's gonna be generated like all on this one side. Uh, and then you can see here too, like the tree supports are able to kind of bend around to where it needs the support. Uh, if I was to do like this grid method, it's not gonna do what I'm looking for it to do. And doesn't even support it. Like you can see here, it doesn't support any of those on the inside, it doesn't support that. Um, and it doesn't even support the second level. So. Again, it really depends what you're trying to support. If you're trying to support a nice flat bottom surface, grid is your way to go. Uh, if you got a lot of obscure shapes that need supporting, use tree and then just do the default grid with 0.28. And you can see here now everything is supported, which looks really nice. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and print this out and then I'll show you the process it took me to take off the supports. So stay tuned. All right guys, and the print just finished, so let's go ahead and pull it off the bed. Look at that, nice quality for sure. All right. Look at that guys, look at how easy that was. Literally just popped off like nothing. Look at these just easily breaking off. This one I actually have to clip off because it is um, on both sides. So I will grab my pliers, make a snip, and just like that, coming right off. Just gotta make a little cut on this one. That one, look at that guys, easily just pops right off. Look at that, super nice quality. 
and no artifacts on the bed whatsoever you know we've got a nice fillet there for a nice transition on the bottom side so guys try those settings for your next print when you're trying something with overhangs and need support like i just showed you it easily breaks off and yeah let me know in the comments below if you guys got any more questions